Hey, welcome to an episode of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, so this is right after Assassin's Creed 2, and I wanted to go from uh, Assassin's Creed 2 to 4 uh, because I want to do it in the way of like, kind of like, in the correct uh, like timeline, I guess you would say. So like, Edward Kenway, which is the main protagonist in the uh, Black Flag, um, he is the father of Haytham Kenway. Um, Haytham being uh, in Rogue, I believe. It's been a while since I've played all the Assassin's Creed's, or most of them. Um, but yeah, he's the father of Haytham Kenway. And Haytham being in uh, Rogue, I believe, and I know he's in 3. Haytham is the father of Connor Kenway. Uh, and Connor is the main protagonist in Assassin's Creed 3. So I kind of wanted to do 4 and then uh, either Rogue or 3 uh, next. I'm not sure. I think it might be Rogue. That's right na right after uh, where he plays Haytham. I, I can't remember. But anyways, uh, so yeah, this is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Um, as you can see right here, I've already started a uh, game. Um, but the thing about that is... So I tried to do like a special way of recording my videos and it just did not work out. Everything messed up. Like my my whole like game was like in the video, like it was frozen and it was just some part of the audio and it didn't record any of my voice, nothing. So everything got messed up for no reason. It, everything was working perfectly fine until I started uh, actually recording the video. Um, so yes, we are going to start a new game keyboard I, I also want to point out using controller i have let me get up. i have a playstation 4 controller and i do have a cord to connect it with but for some reason uh it just does not like like my computer does not like using the playstation 4 controller i don't know why but i am using my knockoff playstation controller so we're going to name ourselves black All right, and we're gonna just jump into the game. There's gonna be some uh, things I'm gonna talk about, like some facts or whatever throughout the game. So, yeah, look forward to that. We need to run over to skin wheel. Alright, cannons are ready. We need to go to the main ship, which is right there in front of us. Oh wow, got struck by lightning. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. The magazine! It's going 
Oh no. So yeah, a lot in the beginning is just like is a dangerous? lot of cinematics. Edward. Hmm? Privateering, is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the king's navy? Earn a proper wage, sail under gentlemen. Sod the navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Well, that's not going to be a promise we can keep. But we are now alive. Somehow we didn't drown while we were passed out. I absolutely love Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It is just one of my favorites. Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Black Flag, my favorite games. There's a lot of things about Assassin's Creed Black Flag that I love a lot more than uh, 2, which you'll you'll see whenever I start talking about it. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? To you, Sneaksby. All right. So we are now finally in the game. Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. Okay. So, uh, well, I will talk about this. So, I'm going to try to get 100% in this game, which means that there is going to be a lot here that I'm going to have to uh, do. I get a lot of chests and everything. First thing I will talk about about what I like a lot better than uh, in this game than Assassin's Creed 2. Parkour. I cannot stand the parkour in Assassin's Creed 2 because I just gravitate to the nearest cliff and jump off of it. Whereas in this game, when you run and I'm looking this way, I actually go straight. Well, I went to the right because I'm on this branch, but whereas in Bla uh, not Black Flag, in Assassin's Creed 2, I would be running, and if I slightly look this way, then my guy would just run off or jump off. So that is just something that they improved in Black Flag. I love that so much. <laughs> As I mess up my parkour. <laughs> 
Um, another thing, we can climb trees, as you just saw. And now we're going to go to that viewpoint up there. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Um, and I will actually tell you another thing that they changed um, from Assassin's Creed to the Black Flag. Once we get to it. So did you just see that? Alright, hold on, let me climb down. Usually in Assassin's Creed 2, we wouldn't be able to make that little bar right here. We would have to actually jump onto it. And you don't learn that uh, jumping move in Assassin's Creed 2 until you uh, meet up with like this thug lady and she let you like see her do it. And you're like, oh wow. And then you get taught that later on. I forgot what her name was. But uh, in here, you automatically just do it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really nice. Running to. Okay. Um. Okay. Right under us is going to be a chest, and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna try to get a hundred percent on this game. Um. I saw something fly across my screen in the game, so uh, I will cut out a lot of stuff of me getting. Like chest, these little shards that will show you me go to the mini map. That little shard or fragment in front of us, I call them shards. Um say we're gonna climb up here. And we got it. So fragments. Uh that is going to unlock something for us that we don't we don't necessarily need all these like extra stuff. I just want to do it because I want to get 100% completion. But um, the reason why I want the fragments, if I remember correctly, if you get a hundred or how much was it? It was like 300 or something. I'll put it on screen how much you need. Uh, that amount of fragments you get to unlock this thing where your crew becomes skeletons and it looks really cool it's like you're on um the ship with that uh front uh Fran french 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 guy or spanish guy spaniard and pirates of the caribbean dead men tell no tales i am really sorry i cannot focus while playing the game. It's been a while since I've actually recorded something, so apologies for that. Um, another thing, mini-map. Or, well, not really the mini-map, but the map. Jaguar, right here, uh, that does not tell you that there is a dead jaguar. That little paw right there, that's where a dead animal is. So that doesn't necessarily mean it is a jaguar. Uh, I know where it is, because I've already played through this game. Um, but yes, that's going to tell you that, hey, there are jaguars in this area. Or, right over here, there are wild pigs in this area. Um, so yeah, that that would be good for whenever we're like, hey, I need this. And I'm like, oh, okay, we'll check the map. And Alright, there's the animal in this area. Uh, and we're going to have to go down there with a chest. So I'll probably cut that out. But first, since we're right next to them, let's go ahead and skin this animal. Alright, got some bone and wild pig skin. Um, so, another thing I want to note that 
I am playing this on PC. Um, I do have the game on Xbox 360, but I figured it would be better if I just got this on a uh, computer. Which, I mean, I already had it, and I couldn't play it because my computer was really weak at the time. Um, which, I don't have a super powerful computer anyways. Can I climb up here? No, I can't. Um, which, I don't have a super computer... A uh, super powerful computer, anyways. Ow. Uh, so I just was like, all right, well, I have the game. I'll just re-download it and play it on this channel. And we're gonna try to go down here and get these chests. Um, like I said, it's not necessary to get these chests, but I want to because I want to get 100% completion. And, because if I do that, I already have a lot of money in the beginning, and that'll be good. Dead guy right here, we can loot him. Um, I will not be reading these, uh, but I will scroll through this one so you can pause and read. I hate to, like, just, like, skip out on stuff, but I just want to get through this game, because there's gonna, I'm gonna be doing a lot of episodes, or probably a lot of episodes on this game, because it's just, it's bigger than Assassin's Creed 2, so I don't know how long, uh, the episodes are gonna be, so 100 and... Oh wow, alright, well, yeah, in chess, you do, okay, so, one, checking chess is a lot quicker. Oh, another thing, when you're running and you need to go through something, instead of how it is in the Assassin's Creed 2, you would jump on it, and then, uh, jump off of it to get through it. Whereas, if you see, like, these, like, little arches, you can run under it, so that is a nice little feature that they put in. Um, we actually need to go this way. So, chests are a lot quicker to check, which is really nice. Um, forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, so it's not just like, it tells you how much money you have, you got in the chest, but also like there's like these little artifacts that you, that you like automatically sell or something like that, you can get money for them. So like pearl earrings, you just sold that for more money. You got some, you got ten R. Uh, R, if I'm correct, is Spanish reels. Uh, I'm not sure how you exactly spell that, but it is reels. All right, we got those two chests and. A message in a bottle. Um, and another thing I want to note is that I've, since I've already played through this game uh, on my old computer, somehow I ran the game. I ran it at like 10 FPS, but <laughs> I still played the game. It was pretty bad. Uh, you play. It. We could work together on this. I was gonna let that play. Uh, you play was like, okay, we're gonna save your achievements, and there is no option to reset it, as far as I know of, and as far as yesterday, September eighth, twenty twenty-two. There is no option to reset it. Um, so I won't be able to redo my achievements. Which I guess is fine. We'll go up here and we will get this key point.
Very nice. All right, let's check. Do we have anything else we need to do? All right, now we can just get this top area. Um, I am not sure about these little stones right here. That's going to be a new one for me because I don't think I ever actually collected these, like, have, like, these collectibles. Uh, so, yeah, whenever I played this game as a, a young lad, I just played through the game. I didn't worry about, like, you know, these chests and shards or uh, fragments or shanties or anything like that. Or, uh, really viewpoints. I was never really worried about that. But now that I've started playing through Assassin's Creed games again, I decided that I wanted to 100% complete. Uh, I absolutely love the animation in this game. Like all the animations. Ah, oh, we got pushed. Oh, counter attacking is very nice. Yeah, attacking in this game is a lot better. I love it so much. Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. <laughs> okay, I just wanna let that play her, but something that Something that kind of bothered me as a younger kid. Uh, in that cutscene where he puts on his hood and then he like wipes his forehead from like the sweat because it's like so hot. He just takes it, takes the hood off. I don't, it just bothered me. I don't know why it does so badly. Where he would just like put it on and then immediately take it off. It's like, why, what was the point of you putting it on then? <laughs> um, so it was just something stupid. But, uh, yeah, so right here. Look at Edward. Does that coat seem familiar to anybody? Uh, for those who played Assassin's Creed 3, you'd be like, oh, that does look familiar. This, this is where Connor gets his, uh, his robes, is from Edward's, or from his grandfather, Edward Kenway. Uh, and 3 is a modified version of the uh, Assassin's robe. So that is just a little Easter egg for you. Oh. I want to get into this later, but I guess we'll get into this now. Still, uh, you can now go into bushes and walk around in bushes and you will not be detected. And I will show you later about this whistle part. I want to keep that a little tiny secret. Um, so I completely mi missed this about getting that fragment up there. So we're going to have to climb back up and get that. If I can. Alright, well, we got our fragment. There are some stuff over yonder, like over here and everything. Um, we can go back to these areas. 
So it's not like I'm going to be like in this area and then explore all of this and get all this stuff right here. We will do like all that at some point. Um, probably not on camera. Because that would just be a lot to record. That's probably what... This is what I'm saying whenever I say it's going to take a long time. So there we go. Synchronize right here. Very nice. Alright, and behind us there's going to be a chest. <laughs> I saw a meme about this where it was like, somebody asked like, why are you going in be uh, behind the waterfall in like a game? This is the reason why, because <laughs> usually there's like, treasure or something. Alright, now that we've got that chest, very nice. We are collecting a good bit of money already. Okay. Here I'm going to show you. We just whistled. You probably couldn't hear that because I was talking and they're talking. So, what you just saw right there, I whistled. He came over, and I was able to do a knockout attack. Um. Uh oh. Oh man. So when we perform, performed, we performed that knockout. We were able to loot the body in the bushes, which is very nice. See if we can get this guy. Nope. And I like how that guy totally watched his friend get dragged in here and didn't do anything. He was like, oh, I guess it seems fine. Try to do this really sneakily. I don't think there's gonna be much of a sneaky way for us to do this. So. I'll pay you. Ow. So yeah, great animations. I love them. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes, but uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us, but I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah. Oh. That is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? I just want to say I absolutely love the comedy in this game. A rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Like the comedy in this game is just magnificent. I love it. All right, so another thing, a new thing. Uh, obviously. So we're gonna leave this body, and we got a treasure map. Treasure maps are going to be very nice because. 
obviously, we get to see where treasure lies, like a pirate. Um, I already know where this is, but it's going to, this is, this is where Sea of Thieves tactics comes in. I absolutely love Sea of Thieves. Uh, so yeah, you're going to get a treasure map, and you're going to be like, okay, well here's the area. That's where the boat is, that's where this little, uh, area, like, with, where the cliffs is, and there's a tree. So yeah, I already know where the uh, chest lies, and I thought that you would have needed, because I've never done this before, uh, until whenever I tried recording this episode. But I tried to, I was like, I, do I need like a, yeah, right here, you'll see it, it says dig. I was like, do you need like a shovel or something? No, he just wipes off the ground, there it is. Alright, and you will get a good bit of money, 1500 RR. Like I said, we'll come back to these areas, but this chest is right here, yep. I'll go ahead and get this chest. I want to try to get a little bit of money before we set sail to Havana Unana. And for those of you who probably noticed this, um, this is not the highest graphics in this game. This is actually the lowest graphics in this game, so I can be able to record this video. Um, so, yes. Uh, I'm going, I'm trying my hardest. I am trying, trying to get a better computer. So, I'm slowly but surely making money, and so I can afford a new computer. Because I do want to play... She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my planet. Uh, I do want to play, like, more up-to-date up to date games, um, and record them in, like, high quality, because that's what you deserve. You deserve high quality videos. Um, but also for my enjoyment, too, because I like seeing high graphic games. Um, if they're, like, high graphics. Like, if it was, like, a Nintendo, I want to play on my CRT. Uh, but yeah, I just want to do the best that Let's I can. To fall, shall we? Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of, of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. I'm getting on there, but I failed to realize that. Sometimes, like, in this game, I just want to, like, sail and, uh, just, like, enjoy the outside area in here, because I just, like, love sailing. I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turned his back on a keg of rum. Oh, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Um, and so, yeah, if you did not realize, we are faking, uh who we are to this guy because we don't fully trust him just yet. So our real name is Edward Kenway, but we're playing as Duncan Walpole. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I.
fantastic work. Very promising. Another thing, new loading screen from Assassin's Creed 2. Just want to show you this. But, you know, you can only, like, run. You can't, like, hit or anything. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So yeah, another thing that I improved is characters. How they actually so, look like people. Welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. <clears throat> there you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right. Let's take a walk. I also thought it was like a weird, like, little part right there. It's like, bonjour? Extent, which is surprising. Just... You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. So yeah, these are going to be like little screenshots of other games like Liberation. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. I've never played the Liberation. It'll just take a minute, okay? I think my goal is to play every Assassin's Creed. Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon, tout est prêt. Magnifique, merci. This is for you, the primary tool of our trade, your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. Okay. Um. So. You might have noticed that security seems a little okay, late. Okay. Me. Pause that real quick. Um. So. I I don't really know because I like I said I haven't played like all these Assassin's Creeds since I was a kid and I was just playing through them I wasn't worried about like stories or anything I just wanted to play the game. Uh, so I don't know what happened between from like Assassin's Creed uh, three to Black Flag because so from what I know is that in three. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, Desmond dies because he has to, like, sacrifice himself or whatever. Um, of course, we haven't played through on this channel, but I will one day soon. Uh, so he dies, and then all of a sudden now we're, like, in Abstergo. We are, like, partnered with Abstergo. For some reason, everybody's French. I don't know why. Or everybody speaks, like, some of them like, speak French. Um, so, I don't know what happened between that. I, I haven't really, like, learned about, like, the timelines or anything, like, oh, this is a rare in Abstergo because of this and this and this, so, I have no idea. Because your communicator is your key to getting around. And she just said that we are, that they are, light on security because they don't, they feel the need to not use security. Because now we have a tablet. To get to where we want to go. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. You'll see a jitter like this. I don't know why, but like the game just does that. You ready? Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. 
I guess we're like based in France or something. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey them, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, maybe. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Milani, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are, your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Okay. Uh, so I'm not going to just jump right away. Um, I, I want to kind of like show the office a little bit. So you can see that we have some nice, I think a nice setup. And we have the Oculus Rift right there, which is a big, so in Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, and I don't know about 3 because I can't remember, you have to sit in a chair. So it's just like this big, not like this kind of chair, but like like, like a little massage chair or something like that. Uh, but that's like a way that you go back in time and you like experience your ancestors. Whereas now, technology has improved we have we have our oculus rift right there uh these little action figures i can see there is a bunch of these stands uh and we are going to start off with our edward kenway one i have never collected all of these uh little action figures but i will try my best to um i don't think we can crouch down but as you can see right actually hold on let me go somewhere where you can actually see them so, uh, you can see Assassin's Creed, they actually have like these little books right here. I know there's like another little shelf somewhere that I can show these books. Yeah, like right here. As you can see, there is Assassin's Creed books. You see Assassin's Creed Forsaken, Assassin's Creed The Fall, uh, and this one here, Black Flag. Oliver Bowden. I didn't know this. I didn't. I don't know if these books came out after this game or what. But let me. I'll be right back. Let me just show you real quick. I actually have Assassin's Creed Renaissance, which is Assassin's Creed Two, and Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and these are both books, obviously. Um, but I just thought that was really interesting because I I walked into Books Million and to see like what books I can read um and I saw them and I was like I have to get them and they're really good price um I haven't really gotten to read uh, I haven't read the black flag one but I I've started reading uh Assassin's Creed Renaissance um but I didn't get very far in it because I've just been really busy with school and work and uh just doing other stuff but I'm trying to get back like get everything back in order and, uh, you know, start doing YouTube again. Uh, that's actually a really cool Animus skateboard. Or Abstergo, not Animus. As you can see right here, there are some more action figures. Uh, you'll see. Actually, let me go to another. Let's explore the office a little bit more. And they are, there's those two people talking. I can't really understand what they're saying. Is this guy on his tablet? He is. And they're not really going to talk to us. You can see that it is going to be like the same like, little pause menu that we're going to have. It seems like uh, this is the sample 17 uh, room. So everybody's working on the same thing that we're working on. But we're working on the Kenway line. 
So like everybody else here will be working as like maybe like just a random NPC. So we'll see this guy. I don't know if I just share this one, but there are some more action figures. And you can see right here on this big curved monitor. So yeah, someone's got their shoes kicked off and they're relaxing. It's not him because he has his shoes on. Alright, where's our... Let's go to our... Uh, little animus. And he's still working on that. Also, another thing I want to like point out. I think like our computer is like right here where this guy is. Because if you look around, there's no like PC set up anywhere. And if this is where the uh, computer is, this is a very small like computer area. Unless it's just spread out across this whole desk. Oh, actually, there's a QR code right here. I didn't notice that before. Let me scan that. I swear, if it's going to be like a Rickroll or something. Okay, well, I try scanning it. Nothing will happen. So, let's go into our Animus. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. I love the music in this game. Ah, uh, <laughs> lively Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yes. This game is just hilarious. <laughs> it's mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering <laughs> with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. But where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. In case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> but they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. And there are some courtesans like how they were in Assassin's Creed 2. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. Few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Real, not real. No, goodness, no! I'm a, I'm a married man. Married men are their forte, mate. Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor is nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. 
Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Oh, uh, of course. Cheers. Alright, so we can't really buy anything else. We can only buy the British Cutlass, even though we do have enough money, as you can see, to buy even better weapons. Uh, we can't. We have to buy the British Cutlass. Oh well. Um, and you will get two of them, as you can see right here, because Edward uses two. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern! A sort of courtyard interior. <laughs> My goodness, you're an agile chap. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes. A fine way to put it. Alright, there is another shard. Right here. We got it. Or fragments, sorry. I'm probably gonna call that shards a lot. I think I see the place. We're not far. Hang tight. Oh, I can't breathe. Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch you. I'm close at heel, shitbird. Here I come. Don't make me chase you into the harbor! Got him. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. Well, I didn't want to kill him, but... I was trying to avoid that, but I forgot to. Ooh, there is a Shanti right here. We're going to try to get that. Oh, did it go away? Oh man, it went away. All right, well, hold on. Duncan, by Jove, you're alive! Of course I am. That filch was no fuss. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah, we've arrived. <laughs> Take your time. I'll be just here. Fancy meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George, having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shot, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Hey, I won. You want to dust up? I'll give you one. So this is where it's going to introduce us more to combat. So we can't regret attack right now. We only counter.
I love the fighting in this game. The animations are amazing. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, so I want to talk about this real quick. So you can just see 100% memory sync, and then we did the optional objectives. Uh, tackle the pickpocket and use smoke bombs to escape the combat, or escape combat. Those, uh, from if I'm correct, I could be wrong on this. Um, these aren't really required to do like 100% completion in this game. Uh, to do the 100% memory sync right here, do the optional objectives. Uh, from what I know is that if you do 100% memory sync right here, the uh, optional objectives, you just get more money out of it. So I could be wrong on that, I don't know. And we'll continue. Alright, um... There's a viewpoint over there, but we will go ahead and talk to our little friend we met up. Whoa. Wait. Did you guys just see that? There was a uh, guard right there. Alright, whatever. I like how you move past people because you like push them a little bit, but like you're going around them, not like just <laughs> throwing them to the ground. So you like keep like a flow of movement going. Sorry about the swift exit. A bit of a misunderstanding. One heaped upon another. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar when your dispatches. Damn! And where'd they gone? Haven't the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is wee mal dad, so I'd, I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so another thing, um, which I didn't really have to call it here. Okay, Eagle Vision, uh, not new to us, obviously. But, when we go into Eagle Vision, you can see they're in gold right here. They're in gold right here as well. And I'm only hiring these courtesans to like hide us, uh, because we should split up to confuse them. The best idea you had today. So, uh, yeah, they will, the courtesans will follow you, and you don't have to like stay like in the middle of them. They will just automatically, like the hiding thing, will automatically cover you to blend into the crowd. Um, but yes, when you when you uh. Go into Eagle Vision, you see somebody you need, or some, need somebody, see somebody that you want to look at. This would be Captain Mendoza? Yes, sir. He's very excited to meet you. Only he must be present for a. Can we get past? Can we? 
Okay. You can see them through the map. Oh gosh. I was trying to avoid combat and we're now detected. Okay, well, that failed. I probably could have gone around the building. They will, like, look behind them just to make sure nobody's following them. Uh, so that's where. Oopsies. So that's where we're gonna need to, like, really actually blend in. Alright, uh, so what you can do is that you can go into, uh, you can pause the game, you can go into progress tracker, and uh, you'll see memory number two. So you can see like, alright, so here's what's going on if you don't know what's going on. You can read the map of Edward, blah blah blah. Uh, you can see optional objectives, hire dancers to distract guards. I've already done that as you had just seen. I need to catch up. Oh, another thing that I really like, they moved the button from where you steal. So like, how it was in Assassin's Creed 2, you press A to uh, fast walk and to steal. Now it's really annoying when you just want to get away but you didn't want to steal. So they finally moved it. Almost got detected. Alright, so this little ring right here, that is something new. We have to stay in this little ring and uh, eavesdrop. So that just be like being across the map and you can eavesdrop. Mendoza will have it sent to you, I believe. 
You will see. Good lord. Is that big brute your Captain Mendoza? No, sir. He is El Tiburón. El Tiburón, Governor Torres' man. Hmm. How do we want to play this? Give them something to think about. Como mande. No olvides que cada una de las mujeres de la vida es más grande que ninguna. Por eso lo tengo encañonado. Didn't get to really sneakily do it, but we did it. Uh, optional objective was stay out of combat. Um, we failed to do that, unfortunately. I don't know if there was a way you could do that. Well, I mean, I'm sure there was a way, but in our situation. Oh man. That's a big explosion. Oh, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die.
Oh boy. That was intense. And we are completing up Stargate challenges. I think in order to get um, the skeleton crew, you have to like get the however many amount of fragments you need, and you need to do like a bunch of uh, Stargate challenges. Uh, as you can see on that body, it says loot ammo. Uh, yes, we are going to get guns, and they are going to be awesome. And I could sit here and loot a bunch of these guys. But I want to get past all this. And brutes are where you're going to get uh, a lot of your ammo, smoke bombs, and all that stuff. Also, in the side screen black fly, you can just run up on this onto the roof, and they don't just like automatically turn around like how they would in a uh, a side screen too. So that is really nice. Oops, sorry. Sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no, no, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. Governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Okay. Uh, I think that'll be a great introduction to this game. Uh, I cannot wait to make more episodes of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I absolutely love this game. Um, with a, with you know some updates right now on this channel, uh, I am, like I said, I am working a lot. I'm doing school. I'm doing all this kind of stuff, and trying my hardest to get back into YouTube. Uh, and I've just had a lot of difficulties just trying to make episodes with a, a weaker computer. Um, so hopefully one day I'll get a really good computer, hopefully soon. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to make more Dishonored videos because I'm, I miss playing the game. Um, I haven't played in a while. Uh, well, it feels like a while for me. But yeah, be looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, great introduction to this game. Uh, I really hope you enjoy this series as much as I will. Um, so yeah, that'll about do it.